Welcome to this tutorial on Nearest Neighbor Analysis in QGIS. In this tutorial, we will learn about Nearest Neighbor Analysis by Distance Matrix Method Statistics using Nearest Neighbor Analysis Tool Here I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04 QGIS version 2.18 to follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with QGIS interface. For prerequisite QGIS tutorials, please use this link. The files required to practice this tutorial are available in the code files link. Please download and extract the contents of the folder. Here, I have the folder with the required file to practice this tutorial. Double click to open the folder. Here you will find urbanareas.shp and volcanoes.shp. Volcanoes.shp layer shows active volcanoes in the world. Urbanareas.shp shows populated urban areas of the world. Open the two shape files in QGIS. Select both the files. Right click and select Open with QGIS Desktop option from the context menu. QGIS interface opens with two layers loaded in the layers panel. Right click on the Volcanoes layer and select Zoom to layer option. On the canvas, you will see a map with point features. Let us label these point features. Right click on Volcanoes layer. From the sub menu, click on Properties. Layer Properties dialog box opens. Select Labels from the left panel. Select Show Label for this layer option from the drop down. In the Label with drop down, Select Name. Here you will find various options to modify the label style. Choose the required style and click on OK button. On the canvas, points with the names is displayed. Similarly, let us label urban areas. On the canvas, point features are labeled with their cities. QGIS has tools to analyze spatial relationships between features. One such tool is Nearest Neighbor Analysis. Nearest Neighbor Analysis is used for the following analysis. Finding distance between two point features. Finding features which are closest to a given feature. First we will create distance matrix for calculating the distances. Let us open the attribute table for the Volcanoes layer. Right click on Volcanoes layer. Select Open Attribute Table. In the attribute table, there are multiple columns. Various attributes for the point features are listed here. Names of the volcanoes and their locations are also listed here. Close the attribute table. Open the attribute table for urban areas layer. Notice the various columns in the table. You will find names of the cities, countries and other information in this table. Close the attribute table. Let us calculate the distance between the active volcanoes and nearest cities. Click on Vector menu. Select Analysis Tools. Select Distance Matrix option from the submenu. Distance Matrix dialog box opens. Please read the description about Distance Matrix on the right panel. By default, Parameters tab opens on the screen. Select the parameters as shown here. Select Volcanoes as an input point layer. Select Name 
as input unique ID field. Select urban areas as target point layer. Select city as target unique ID field. Keep output matrix type as linear. Let us find the distance from the volcano to two nearest cities. Hence, select two in use only the nearest target points field. Click on the three dots button next to distance matrix field. From the drop down menu, select save to file option. In the dialog box, give an appropriate name and location. Choose files of type as CSV. In the encoding field, choose system. Click on save button. In the distance matrix dialog box, check the checkbox for the following. Open output file after running algorithm. Click on the run button at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. The process will take few seconds. A new CSV layer named as distance matrix is added in the layers panel. Open the attribute table for distance matrix layer. In the attribute table, there are three columns. The last column is the distance between the volcano and nearest city. Please note, here the distance is in meters. This is because the layers are projected in WGS84 UTM Zone 46N system. Depending on the CRS, the distance can also be in layer units or n degrees. Also observe that for each volcano, two nearest cities are listed. Let us get some statistical analysis for the layers using nearest neighbor tool. We will run a nearest neighbor analysis to analyze the distribution of features. The results will establish the distribution as clustered, dispersed, or random. Close the attribute table. Click on vector menu. Scroll down and click on the analysis tools. From the sub menu, select the nearest neighbor analysis. Nearest neighbor analysis dialog box opens. Read the information given about nearest neighbor analysis on the right panel. Select Volcanoes layer in the Points drop-down. Click on Run button at the bottom right corner. Results window opens. Some statistical parameters for the Volcanoes layer are listed here. Observed mean distance, expected mean distance, nearest neighbor index, number of point features, and Z score. The nearest neighbor index is expressed as the ratio of the observed mean distance to the expected mean distance. If the index value is less than 1, the pattern exhibits clustering. If the index value is greater than 1, the trend is towards dispersion. Here, the nearest neighbor index value of 0 0.2 indicates clustering, which means the volcanoes are located close to each other. Similarly, a negative z-score also indicates clustering of point features. Close the results window. Save the project using project menu. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about Nearest Neighbor Analysis by Distance Matrix Method Statistics using Nearest Neighbor Analysis Tool As an assignment, create distance matrix for nearest 5 volcanoes to urban areas. Hint, use urban areas as input and K as 5. Your completed assignment should look as shown here. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. 
the Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Ambadas Maske from College of Engineering, Pune, Snehalata Kalyappan and Himanshi Karvanje from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.